Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the schizophrenia card over here, which is the two of swords. So you're trying to make a decision. Uh, you're, you know, stuck between a, a rock and a hard place here, it seems. And, you know, you're, you're really uh, battling to make that particular decision. Maybe things have not uh, been very clear for you. You've got a lot of clouds in the sky. There's some message coming in over there, uh, which will allow you to make that decision. But you're really torn between uh, two things. This could even be a legal decision that you're waiting for. It looks like there will be victory in that. You've got that Ace of Swords over there, the consciousness card coming in, uh, showing that, you know, whatever the decision is, you're going to be very victorious. There's some clarity coming in. So some kind of information will come in that will allow you to make this particular decision. You've got the conditioning card over here. So this is, uh, you know, the devil card in the usual tarot. It's about somebody controlling you or, you know, you're having to follow somebody's lead, uh, somebody manipulating you. So you might be dealing with that kind of situation. Maybe you're trying to make a decision on how to leave that particular situation. So what's going on with you in the past? You've got the ripeness card over here. So waiting for things to be um, manifested, really. You've worked pretty hard. Um, it looks like it's the end of the cycle of hard work. And, you know, you can see this apple falling from the tree. So things are starting to look up. Things are starting to change as far as your finances or, or your abundance goes. That is starting to shift. You've got the rebel over there. So that's your card. And it's taking control of that situation, breaking the chains that bind. So you are freeing yourself from a difficult situation and maybe even freeing yourself from this devil influence as well, taking control over situations. Now, this could be that you were dealing with somebody that may be a Capricorn person. Uh, that's the sign that you usually rules that. And you're taking control of this particular situation with the rebel card. It's like going against the grain, having your, the light in your hands, doing it the way you want to do it, um, not listening to anybody over here with that emperor card it's also about having a lot of uh you know logic handling the situation uh and being able to sort things out uh you know you know managing your resources uh being very very much in control of that situation so going into the future you've got receptivity card over here and the mind so there's some messages coming in for you somebody might be bringing in a message this is um you know uh, the queen of cups as well which is about uh, you know, being very sensitive to things, receiving things from a higher spiritual level, uh, but also feeling a little lonely, feeling a bit depressed as well with this particular receptivity card. Um, but it's uh, important for you to channel, uh, you know, maybe it's time for you to take a little uh, break or um, step back from whatever the situation is, meditate on, on it, and you will get some insight. You've got that lotus flower coming in. So a lot of spiritual insights coming in for you, but also a solution to that particular problem will come from you. Your mind is quite chaotic right now. You can see, you know, a lot of confusion, a lot of things playing around, a lot of anxiety. Uh, you know, you're trying to speak your truth over there, but, you know, you're still very unhappy or um, you're in a dilemma. You don't really know what to do in this particular situation. Quite a lot of confusion going on over there. So that's come. Those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to use the Anna K Tarot for the main read. Okay, so you are moving away from a very, very difficult situation. There might have been some kind of legal issues that you were dealing with. There was a lot of conflict, a lot of problems, but it seems like you know, you've had some help and you are now sailing away from it. You're moving away to a better, quieter, uh, you know, maybe a, a situation where you are in much more control of that. Um, you've still got a lot of, uh, you know, she's carrying the swords on her back, which is showing that, you know, you still are trying to get over that situation. You've been through a lot of towel moments, it seems, and you're trying to get over it right now. So you're moving away to a better circumstance after whatever's happened. You've got the sun card, which is the most excellent card in the deck, which shows that, you know, there's a lot of light, uh, joy, uh, you know, peace coming your way, and there will be a lot of growth that comes in for you with that sun card. There's a justice card as well, which is showing that, uh, you know, with that seven of, uh, six of swords, it's moving away from a legal situation, and there's a, um, 
it looks like there is some kind of decision, legal decision pending over here, and it will be made, and it will be in your favor because you've got the Sun card sitting next to it. So it's going to be, you know, you're going to be victorious in whatever that was. You've got a Nine of Pentacles over here, so you've been working quite independently, taking care of yourself and sorting things out by your own financial means over here. So you've been, uh, you know, and making plans for the future as well, but working extremely hard. So you've gone to go on some kind of transformation here. You've made a decision. You're taking a different route uh, in life, and you're being guided to do that. So you've let go of the past, uh, and you've let it go as being dead and something that you can't deal with anymore, and you are now moving forward to the light. So you are moving forward into something better. And you can see even here, moving away. So you've turned your back completely on the past, and you're moving away. Now, you are waiting for uh, something to come in here with the hangman. Maybe things are not moving fast enough. Maybe you are waiting for this decision to come in with that justice card. Uh, but, you know, in the meantime, there's, you know, you are feeling a bit down and you're feeling a bit tied up, really, restricted. Maybe this decision that comes in is going to be the thing that liberates you. You've made a lot of sacrifices here in this particular situation, so you're waiting for that decision to come through. Now, you've got the Page of Pentacles. It looks like there's a new job, a new job offer coming for you, uh, and that will allow you to... Um, you know, get in the money because you've got this person fishing and, you know, the coins will come in for you. So money will come your way. This could also be, you know, even signing new job contracts as well with the Justice card. And then you've got that Ace of Pentacles, which is starting something new and working at it. It's just not an offer. It's going to be something very concrete. So you've got Eight of Swords over here. You're still very upset and very trapped by what has happened in the past. You're still looking at it, and it's still upsetting you. So you're still very traumatized about what has gone on with that Eight of Swords, feeling very tied up, very bound by it. Now you've got the King of Cups over here. So, you know, if you need any kind of medical assistance, this is a good uh, time to go and get it um, if you're having any health concerns. The King of Cups is also about a support figure coming in for you. This could also be about you starting uh, a new cycle of learning or studying as well uh, with this King of Cups coming in. You can see he's reading that book. Uh, so that could be something that is going to start off. So maybe this new job in itself is going to um, require you to do further training or further study. You've got that Knight of Cups over here. You're waiting for some kind of offer to come in. It could be a romantic offer, or you're hoping for that to come in, or it could be just a new job offer that you want, you know, something that is really good, because you want that bunch of flowers, really. Uh, so, you know, you have been through a lot, so you are waiting for something brand new to, to come in, some kind of offer. So the final outcome would be the Ten of Rods, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of um rods. So this new job offer that ca comes in or has come in for you, you're going to have to probably work pretty hard for it. Um, you know, it's going to take in a lot of your time uh, and there's going to be a lot of responsibilities within this particular job. It may not be the best of jobs right now, but it's going to get you through the situation. Uh, you know, it might you might feel as though there's a lot of obstacles or problems in it, but you will, you know, it, it's going to mean that you're going to end up, uh, you know, doing a lot more. So be careful of that. Try not to take too much of responsibilities or burdens. Do what is you are responsible for. Don't take on other people's problems, really, with that Ten of Rods. Uh, you know, you've got that Ten of Rods as an end of that kind of cycle, so you need to actually nip it in the bud before it starts. So don't take on too many responsibilities. If you are taking on too many responsibilities at the moment, you need to delegate or you need to, you know, allow somebody else to come and give you a hand. You've got that Knight of Pentacles over there, so being very, very focused on that work over there and getting the money in. So, uh, you know, and making plans for the future. So the money will come in for you, but it's going to be slow and steady, and it's going to require a lot of hard work and a lot of mental skills as well. And you've got the Seven of Rods over here, so needing to defend yourself. So there's a lot of competition going on over there. Uh, but make sure that you're on top of things because, you know, if anybody questions your authority or your judgment, you need to defend yourself in that situation. So you might be uh, coming up against some opposition uh, in wherever you're working at, but you will be able to sort it out. You see, this man is being able to take control of it. You just need to use all your skills uh, and, you know, stand up with authority or stand up with confidence. So it looks like there's that new job offer, but it's going to mean, uh, you know, a lot of hard work. And it might mean further study as well uh, with that uh, King of Cups. Um, but it's going to allow you to get, you know, that financial independence that you have been working for so long. And that legal decision looks like it's going to go in your favor with that Sun card. This might also be that you'll be signing some new contracts uh, with that um, Justice card. You might be signing a new job contract. I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. 
And the first card is the Three of Fire, so abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So you will be working with a lot of people, but a lot of abundance is coming in. And you might be doing a lot of travel as well with that Three of Fire or Three of Rods. So things are going to be start being very successful for you. You've got the ego card of here, a false sense of entrapment, being uh, overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So try to keep an open mind. Don't be negative about it. And you could well be dealing with someone who's a bit manipulative. Uh, but if you can see through that, then you can avoid them completely. Um, so, uh, you know... Um, but this is being very work-focused as well. The ego card is ruled by Saturn, so you are going to be very, very busy very soon and working very, very hard. Uh, and you also be doing some learning as well. So skilled work is required, learning all that there is to know about the topic and going back to school. So it looks like there is some study coming in with that King of Cups and this Eight of Earth. It looks like there's going to be some training as well involved with this new job that you are going to be doing soon. Uh, and that's going to improve your skill set. And that's going to be, you know, the stepping stone for you to get promoted and to move up that career path. There are people that are going to be a bit, uh, you know, opposing to you. Uh, but be aware of that. And, you know, you will be able to sort them out. Because at the end of the day, there's, um, or the first card that fell was the sun card, which shows victory. Uh, so, you know, you just have to hang in there. You just have to be resilient and you just have to go for it. And it will all come into your hand. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.